The improper and often aggressive and brutal way of raising children that some people have, has left serious physical and psychological consequences in children, who will be forever traumatized, and in the worst case, it leads them to death. This is the story of a child who was abandoned in the forest, for behaving badly. The child turned out to be a full-on survivor. It all happened in Japan, when a couple whose family name was Tanuka traveled along with their seven-year-old son, Yamato, in their vehicle, when suddenly the father was completely enraged, because of the child's bad behavior, and without remorse, he got out of the car and insisted that child went into the forest, because that was his punishment, to stay there alone. No matter how much Tanuka wept, begging his angry father to forgive him, he was abandoned adrift. That happened on May 28, 2016 and on June 3, a military man happened to be passing by, in an old trench where the child took refuge and survived that time, sleeping among some old mattresses that he found. Six long days had passed, when Tanuka ate nothing and was resigned to the pain of being abandoned. As soon as he was seen by the service man, he helped him and offered him food. As soon as he revived the child, he took him to the nearest hospital and curiously, the boy never shed a tear, even though he remained totally alone in an area inhabited by wild bears and a dangerous diverse fauna. A punishment that could end in a tragedy. As a matter of fact, the authorities questioned the parents and the parents reported that they were already desperate for the child to obey them, as he was throwing stones at cars and people and did not behave at all. Then it occurred to them to stop there and leave him. According to them, they had only pretended to leave, but when they returned after five minutes, the child was nowhere to be found. In front of the media, the father of the child asked for the boy's forgiveness, Daddy made you spend such a hard time. I'm so sorry, he told the boy. And Yamato replied, you're a good dad, I forgive you. When he was released, the child left with the full attention of several national media. Authorities began an investigation to see if the infant had been the victim of other assaults in the past by his parents. Many Japanese now regard Yamato Tanuka as a symbol of the art of survival. For his part, the boy indicated that he wanted to return to normal classes. But such a tremendous ordeal that he faced, caused him to lose two and a half kilos, since he had to walk more than 11 kilometers, crying disconsolately and without direction. That's why psychologists warned that the child needed urgent professional help. But in comparison to the strong circumstances he must have faced in order to survive, the physical consequences were not as severe as the psychological ones, as the medical diagnosis only found him with mild hypothermic dehydration, as well as scrapes in some parts of his body. An expert in child psychology, Neko Fukura, stated that just after having a traumatic experience of this kind, children try to forget it and tend to behave in a joyful way. This does not mean that they are as resistant to stress as they appear. The behavior of the parents triggered a whole series of criticisms and reactions in social networks and in Japanese society, 